Well, it's Thursday. I mean Wednesday. I can see uh, Jack's tennis ball is pretty good today. My buddy in New Jersey, Surf Digger Brian, he calls it, I think he did a video yesterday, he calls it out of hibernation. Well, I'm going to call it the same thing. I'm getting ready to go now. I'm having a little breakfast. A little energy. Coffee. I'm picking the chain man, the ring man up at 11. It's uh, 9 something now. Stand by, we're going to the bay. The shade foggy. Nobody's out yet. I know Beaver's out somewhere, but he must not be here. There's the cave right over there. The tide is uh, low in uh, not quite three hours. They claim it's going to be in the high 60s today. Drop down to in the 40s tonight and tomorrow in rain. In the 20, high 20s for uh, Friday and maybe some more snow. So we're out one day anyway. Ring man. Well, so far I've dug a piece of aluminum and a old what looks like a nine millimeter bullet. It's nice conditions. The wind is supposed to be from the southwest 20 to 25. But we haven't gotten any of that yet. It's still foggy. We've only been here 10 minutes. You can see there's a few rocks around. A lot of iron around. Just a little wave now and then. I like it. Stand by. Well, it's a lot slower than I expected it to be. I see somebody right there on the other side working up high. I can't tell who it is. I know it's not Beaver. Might be Thomas. I don't know who it is yet. I just got another piece of aluminum. So I got three targets in 40 minutes. I may have to move up high. Hey, whoever that is is digging a few targets. Looks like a CTX. I don't know. Stand by, we'll see how it goes. Well, I'm on the other side of the cave now. I don't know if you'll be able to see them or not. Maybe when the tide gets off a little. But this side of the cave is full of big, big rocks. I've never seen them before. I mean, head size are bigger. You can see them. You can see, see some of them I know. The whole area is covered with big rocks. Big, actually, rocks of concrete. It has a great big piece of iron right there. I've never seen these rocks before. Unbelievable. I see uh, the guru, the real guru, I mean, he's down there by the pipe. And there's somebody on the other side of the pipe. I can't make out, of course, I ain't got down that far yet. Stand by. No improvement on targets. We got a really nice what's it here. That was good too. It's a lock. <laughs> Master lock. You turkey, you. I know it sounded good. I'll leave it up there for scavengers. Okay. I 
Doc Beaver's in the lane. Or I should say at the cave. He's using the 920i stuff. He said he loves it. It is a nice scoop. He's thinking about buying one with the small holes in it. I forget what they call it. I just dug another pull tab. I might have. I got to dig this. I don't know what it's going to be. Stand by. Sound like junk. Shut off, baby. Did you guys already hooked the other side of it? Yeah. Still pretty sand in? Yeah. Well, that iffy signal was a little gold earring, you see it? I ain't got to look at it. I know it's gold. Be a how this long. Stand by. Let's get that taquito out of there. Shut off, you piece of crap, you. Cut off. It's hard to do anything with these gloves on. That's why I have to use this thing right here. I just use the pointed end and turn it off. Look at that, look at that. Hibernation marble. I like it. Green. Clear. I'm digging a target and I happen to see it in my scoop. Stand by if we can find a target. Still in the hole, I think. Ah, marble. Marble and gold in the same day. I like it. Let's go up here and get a report, see what these guys are doing up here. How you doing? Good, buddy. How about yourself? Okay. How you making that up here today? One ring. One, One ring. ring. I just got a stretch all just a minute ago. Ring. Is that that 920i with the small holes? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. John, I think my buddy John's got one of them. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Yeah, big John. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 920i. Yeah, he, he got the wooden handle. I was surprised on that. Beaver's uh Beaver's using mine. Uh huh. That guy went by us earlier yeah. with a wooden handle in it, but it's got the big holes, you know. Uh huh. But uh. Yeah, I got me a uh, buffalo and uh, this, this ring right here. It ain't much junk. Oh, yeah. I don't know. You'd be surprised. Looks good inside. It's, it's, it's got the right stuff inside of it. Is it can you mark any, any marks in it? I, I can't. I ain't cleaned it, but yeah. right there. Well, and I can't see it. He said it, it, it rung up uh, 41. 1241 on here. Oh, I got you. I got a little gold earring and a marble. That's all I got. A couple of crap. I ain't got many targets at all. No, I just right. dug a little, a little one of them stretch all rings with a little uh, flower on it. Uh -huh. You know, it's not a, it's not a metal ring. It's, well, the top part is metal, like a, like a kid's ring, you know. I guess. Well. You can't see that condo hardly is so foggy. The sun is shining right now, and it's foggy. You can't just can't can see the cave. <laughs> it's a fog bank rolling in on us. Stand by. Big John's in the lane today. Big John from Williamsburg. Still foggy. I finally dug a couple more coins up here by this pipe. <clears throat> so you can see there's lots of rocks up here.
the cave today. It was kind of slow going. I think. I mean, it's a little crap here. And four, they got five or four meager pennies. I think Denny found two or three. Let's see. I think he said he found a nickel, and a dime, or maybe two dimes. The only found, only one we heard about finding many coins was Big John from Williamsburg. I hope he sends me a picture. He found a stand in Liberty Quarter, a silver quarter, some Mercury dimes. He was a little bit east of us. He came in where we were there at the end. You'll see a picture of him. I found the keys. They were all together, but they broke up, you know, as I was messing around with them. I got another what's it right there. A piece of skeet. Now, Bobby, the main guru, went the other day. He found two or three pieces of this skeet. That's the first piece I think I ever found. And a marbell. And a nice 22 carat gold earring. Stamp, you'll see a picture of it right there, stamp 916. I knew it was nice when I dug it up. Not very big, but you know, I have to take it because I ain't seen no gold in so long. Been in this damn. Uh, what I say earlier when I first started that, I forgot already. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, I mean. Anyway, I don't think we'll get out tomorrow. We'll have to see how that goes by the weather. They got all kinds of forecasts. More snow, more rain. I don't know what it's going to be. Good luck, everybody. We'll see you later. I'll try to add beaver stuff and Denny's because you know I'll add Denny's and beavers. And I hope Big John sends me something. I'll add it to the back. I may send you what Beaver found the last couple of days. Beaver's, Beaver's been the last two or three days in a really, really cold, cold water. Or I should say cold weather. He found some silver coins too. He's had a pretty good week. Stand by for more. See you, to, see you later. I'll see you soon, I should say.